I still remember the time that I got my first mechanical keyboard. It was a pre-built gaming keyboard from Cooler Master called CK552 that I had gotten on sale for $50 at Best Buy when it was normally sold for $80. It might have not seemed all that special to anyone deep in the mechanical keyboard hobby, but to me, it was a big deal as it was my first step into the hobby, and also a big investment for me at the time. I remember the excitement doing all the research on the different types of switches and seeing all the options that I had. I remember the excitement of finding a good deal on the Cooler Master board and driving to go pick it up. And finally, I remember the excitement of holding it in my hands and typing on it for the first time. All of these memories are very fond to me and is part of the reason why I got deeper into the hobby. Because I really enjoyed it. But just like other hobbies out there, like shoes or watches, the mechanical keyboard hobby is very materialistic. With the mechanical keyboard hobby growing as fast as it is right now, there are new products being offered every week, if not every day. There are so many group buys that people join in in fear of regretting not doing so later, and it becomes extremely difficult to not impulse buy something that you just see. I have definitely experienced this myself as well, and it is not healthy. There are many nights where I spent in my bed on my phone scrolling through keycaps wanting to get them. With my mechanical keyboard collection growing bigger, the novelty factor does wear off. The excitement is there when I get a package, but it does not last long like the time I got my first Cooler Master keyboard. I guess you could say I was experiencing retail therapy. There was stuff that sat on my desk that got no use and I knew this was getting out of hand. Upon thinking, I realized that my happiness for the mechanical keyboard hobby came not from collecting, but from sharing the interest to others. So when I got my friends or brother to try out my mechanical keyboards and saw them happy with their new keyboards, it also made me really happy. This is why I also started my YouTube channel as I wanted to share my experiences to everyone and have a discussion of something that I'm interested in with other people that are also interested in the same thing. As my collection became bigger, I sold a lot of the keyboards that I didn't end up using and became more appreciative of the boards that I did use. It honestly made me feel a lot better. I've come to realize that the journey that I've taken in this hobby and those I met along the way is what mattered to me the most. I know that 300 subscribers isn't a lot in YouTube standards, but it means a lot to me that I get the opportunity to share my experiences in the keyboard hobby with you all. It really makes me happy to see the returning subscribers comment every video and makes me thankful for the audience that I have. I hope to continue this journey with everyone and I'm excited to see where it takes me. I also want to challenge you guys to be thankful for the people around you and the board you have. Show some appreciation and let them know how much they mean to you. Once again, thank you for 300 subscribers and I'm thankful for all of you. Oh, and one last thing. I've created a Discord server due to popular request. I hope to interact with you all more on there about my YouTube content and just keyboards in general. So feel free to join if you want. Until next time, Take care and happy Thanksgiving everyone.